Hello, this is Nick from Review Outlaw. So what we're going to do today is do a final walkthrough of the cabin we uh, finished up. Pretty much getting to the end. Um, this is the, the first room you walked into before as you can finish. We, we finished that ceiling. Got the walls um, all sheetrock painted. This little border across here. Got alarm system in. Um, the door here, we just took this. These little white bars that were here. Took those out. That actually door we had re took from a different part of the house, recut it, the bottom of it, made it shorter, and um, it's looking pretty good for a free door. <laughs> so we get the washer and dry here at Black Friday Special. Uh, I think it was like 900 bucks total for both of them. Uh, here, it doesn't look great. We're going to be adding a bench, but that'll be later on in the fall. Um, that'll cover this up. The reason we left this just wood is we need to access this when we winterize it in the fall. You're going to get in there and make sure that all the pipes are drained. There's some valves in there we got to get in access to. Electrical box, we just covered up with some clothes hanger here. So once you have all your hoodies on, you can't even see that. Um, floor is all pretty much nice laminate floor we, we put down, fresh. Uh, lighting, as you can see, all the LED lights. Uh, we went with... The old Edison style kind of ship ship lights to keep the nautical theme going. Um, sink here, the stainless steel, pretty much all stainless steel all around. These were all pretty much Black Friday deals. Um, you can get really good deals that day. Use your 10% coupon, but uh, really good prices on all these appliances. So everything had to come out when we were doing the floor, so we just bought everything fresh. As far as the cabinets, these are the Lowe's. Uh, we had to just put a things stain on them but they're, they're pretty cheap um put the under cabinet lighting as you can see over cabinet lighting so that uh all those led strips you get on amazon uh they're just led strips right here they're about a uh, dollar a foot um so pretty cheap and really cheap to run to uh, it's a nice and ambient so you don't actually see the bulbs themselves take you through a bedroom here actually take you to the bathroom first hooked up the lights we get that whitewash effect on the these walls here. Hooked up the fan to the timer, so it will auto turn off. Shower is original, so we just cleaned it up a little bit. Floor, all new. Um, just put a couple cabinets here. Put the light back on. New vanity here, um, so that's looking pretty good. Bathroom door, just repainted this. Added this little porthole for for looks. New, new toilet, has the, the dual flush European system. Very nice, doesn't clog at all. American Standard, definitely highly recommend. That's about 100 bucks, so that's something to go with. First bedroom here. Again, have the um, old style lights with the Edison bulbs. Gives a nice warm glow. We added some ropes to right here. Um, when we ran these lights, it was after we had everything already painted. We didn't want to pull these walls apart. It was one of those things you kind of forget about. We whitewashed these walls and uh, just took some white paint, um, watered it down, put it on here, and you know you can still see the knot so it looks real nice. Um, basically the ropes we covered up the wiring so it gives it a nice look. We put the little tie downs on them on there. Painted the ceiling rafters blue here. Uh, let's walk upstairs. You have um, some under lighting. It's daytime now so you can't see it too well but Right under our feet, I put those LED lighting. Put some ropes on the side here. Um, we get the white birch covered up the um, any cracks in the floor right here. And we have the stainless steel wire just to stop animals and dogs from getting through here. If you if you were doing this for, for your home and you have kids, probably put one more layer. Um, but we don't have kids or anything like that, so no worries there. Um, this is, looks pretty cool because it looks like it's basically growing through the floor. This was just white birch we had in the backyard that we were cutting down anyway um, to clear out some some area. So might as well use it. Looks great. Does add a little bit of support. Take some of the bounce out of the floor before this floor was a little bit bouncy. So we timber bolted it, that in um, from both sides. So it gives a nice strength. This top here, um, just a, a pine board, 45, that, that adds a nice strength. Added this window. This was a small window before. Knocked that out, put a big window that we had extra in the front. Again, another free window. Sheetrock this all up. 
all my wires and everything, my uh, equipment, networking equipment, things like that, Wi-Fi, all in this closet, along with the alarm system. This roof here, we polyed this, stained this, insulated it, which you'll see from the other videos. And then that's going to take all that heat from that sun, and it's going to make it a lot cooler. Just added a little futon here. This thing pops down. So if someone wants to stay here overnight, they can. Got the great view of the lake, the boat. Um, we got a fan up here just to cool things off. And uh, humongous windows we, we had installed. They were about 450 pounds each, uh, custom ordered and uh, installed by a company. That was one thing we didn't do ourselves. We didn't want to crack it or break anything. So we're glad we had a company do that. Um, let's get a nice, really nice view up here of the whole lake. So we'll go downstairs, I'll show you downstairs. Also, we did this little, we did a little light switch here. We just took uh, one of the extra logs we had, drilled the hole through it, boop, put the, the wiring right in here, and now you, boop, we can hit the lights on. Got the LED lights, puck lights up here, so they keep it uh, bright, but they're very cool. You don't have to worry about fires and very energy efficient. So as we come downstairs here, Another futon, uh, so if you had a couple of people stay over, they can just lay out on that. We got a table there, and the table is very see-through, so it doesn't really interfere with your view here. Um, we did the TV, wall-mounted the TV here, so you can basically see no wires. Uh, we just did a Roku box, you have Netflix and things like that. On the other side of this, drill, drill right through, put the wires down. So here we have just you know, just a nice bed with a closet. We just um, put uh, just a little curtain over that with a slider. So it's easier putting the doors because the doors you wouldn't be able to get by once you put some doors up. Um, just took an old bureau, added some ropes around it, and kind of spite you know made it look a little bit nicer. The ropes again flow through this room, so we have the. Let's see, let me get this. You have the lights right here, so that looks pretty good. Um, and then we found that anchor on eBay actually, so that's a kind of neat, neat look right there. Uh, the sliding glass windows, of course, we installed 16 foot by 8 foot high. Um, that's a 5 foot wide by 8 foot high. This is a smaller one we had to because of the beam across it, so that's like six, uh, six feet and a couple inches. Um, Floor again, transitioning over here. This is just some outdoor furniture we had. And of course you can see the enormous window we put in. We put that beam in across, but it gives it a really nice look. So at night time when you're laying out, you can see the stars, which is really cool. Um, we added this decking out here. This is about a thousand square foot cedar deck that we have. Uh, we put some penafin oil down, which absorbs in and protects the wood. Still uh, have to do the handrails, but we're going to be basically doing some white birch for handrails, taking those white birch logs. I have those um, coming in soon. Going to be piling them up, and um, they are going to be going to be my handrails. And I basically just going to be coming on this side and this side with the handrails, and then a couple here. Um, I did put some lighting, and I'll be doing probably another video on on lighting under the stairs. Um, have the multicolor changing lights under here. Just did a fire pit out here, which is nice. Uh, we rocked around here just to stop the mud from coming in the house. Uh, and you don't have to mow it, of course, which is nice. The, the deck dock I'll be doing something later with. The front outside still, as you can see, has been Tyvexed, but it needs to be vinyl sided. But I'll probably make another video out of uh, vinyl siding. Ordered some uh, cedar shakes for that. So that's pretty much it. Um, beginning to finish took us pretty much all winter, starting about September, and it is now May. So, um, as far as time and how many people we had working on it, um, mostly it was about three people um, that were working on it. Let's say four or five days a week. Um, sometimes it'd be six days. Uh, when in the middle of the winter, when it really got snowy, we did take about a month off. So we just uh, let the relax a little bit, but pretty much for the rest of the time we were plowing through, kept working on it. Um, we had a couple friends help us from time to time, but uh, for the most part it was about three people. Had a contractor 
who uh, point us in the right direction, showed us the right stuff to do as far as double laminated beams. You know, you don't want to, and then when we cut this opening up for these stairs here, we made sure that everything was um, strong enough as far as putting double beams and double beams and double beams. You don't want to just put a single beam if you have your load of these on here. Make sure that was strong enough and how to attach everything. So you definitely want to consult someone who knows what they're doing so you don't have any structural problems. But uh, all in all came out really nice um, and uh, look forward to enjoying it. So if you have any questions on this uh, fix up or, or how to video, um, let me know and I can point you in the right direction. And if you have time, please subscribe and like my video. Thank you. Bye. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video and if you have some time um, please click the subscribe button here and if you also liked it please give me the thumbs up like um, that will help me my videos out greatly in my channel and finally you can actually um, view uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com and I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.